Hey guys, welcome to another session of RBTL. So uh, this is a big one. This is the big day that everybody's been waiting for the nerfs of the ML hero. So I did the reading of this. So I'm going to quickly sum up uh, my thoughts and you know what's going on. So to me, to be honest, I think um, out of out of the four heroes that got nerfed, the MLs, um, specifically the ML heroes that got nerfed, I think uh, only two of them you should recall and the other two I would probably keep. Uh, so Silver Blade Araminta, uh, really quickly here, uh, only has a 10% reduction in the combat readiness. So basically, if a, a hero is, uh, sorry, an enemy is burned, um, has burn effect, or gets burned after she does her S1, her S2 passive, one of them is to increase her combat readiness. So her combat readiness is reduced by 10%. To be honest, it's still very usable. Um, it's like a free uh, Necro and Undine artifact pretty much on her. Uh without having to do AoE and then the Meteor Fall is now has an increase of uh, 5 turn cooldown. So uh, before I was saying that uh, you know if they nerfed her 100% stun rate um, I would say that that's enough of a nerf but uh, they just increased the cooldown rate. One turn is one turn it's still something so you know maybe maybe uh, ML Aramintha users will start using uh, a Tisa Scepter but if they're going for the like the, the first turn you know first turn like disabling um, you know she's still really OP to be honest like if you run her with Abyssal Crown um, you have a stripper running before her you run her with Abyssal Crown or Sira Ren um, her passive uh, on the S2 because it's an AoE it's an attack all enemy um, it's still going to be really good. So to be honest, like if you have ML Aramitha, if I had ML Aramitha, I wouldn't be recalling her because to be honest, she's still doing exactly what she was doing before. She's still going to be really strong uh, with the right team comps. Um, ML Baal and Cezanne, and I know that everyone's opinion might be different. Uh, to be honest, I think that uh, he is nerfed so much so that I would say you may as well try to recall him in this period. And maybe if you get him off banner later, like because we have apparently a lot of changes on the summon system, there's more probability for you to get him again. Um, so if you get him again, maybe keep him. Um, but the changes are basically dispel one buff on the S3 and only the S. Oh, sorry, S2 rather. The S2 is changed. Dispel one buff and also a maximum of uh, twenty percent uh, CR push, um, which is way way better. Um, but I would say the the difference in this is the dispel one buff. Um, originally, dispelling two buffs is is quite substantial, and then be able to put them to sleep, of course. Um, so to me, uh, to me, um, his nerfs are enough for you to. Oh, also, yeah, and then the four turn cooldown. That's that's a that's a big big difference uh, versus three turn. Um, so even if he has a Tisa Scepter um, and like a max level of Tisa Scepter, and if the RNG rules their way, there's much more time to you know be able to you know uh, I guess like counter ML Ball comps. And then if you're using him, you know sometimes you just get like unlucky RNG, like you don't dispel or you know you don't even put them to sleep. You know just just you know it can go like sideways really quick. The only thing is, I would say that if you have ML Araminta still and you want to use her, I think M uh, Sage Baal and Cezanne still works the majority of the time. So one thing that we were talking about uh, on stream prior to this recording is that uh, the Dispel 1 buff is good if it was like, you know, just on, you know, people running immunity. But uh, now with ML Cecilia, um, especially, especially in higher ranks, and you, you'll see her a lot in uh, defense comps, if ML Cecilia exists because she has the barrier, like innate barrier on turn one, with everyone on immunity, you're not gonna be, like it, it depends on what you dispel first, you might not be able to set up ML or Mentha. So that's that's another reason why I think Sage Ball and Cezanne can be recalled. Um, but again, do not take my word for it. It's just that if I had him, um, I would have recalled him anyway. Um, but now with these nerfs, I think I think people will, will be recalling him. Uh, Arbiter Vildred, again, we were all laughing at this. Like you just, they just buffed him, but I think that what they did was they over buffed him. Um, now he just basically loses the two turn attack buff, um, which is good for survivability from the opposing team. So whether you have Arbiter Vildred 
or they have Arbor of Eldred, it's it's good for the opposing team in terms of survival. But then does that make him like good? Um, I would say that this does nerf him back in the balance. Um, so you get you get to revive revive with full focus, and you also get to the hundred percent combat readiness. That's really good. But then he's gonna be lacking a lot of power. Um, because he gets his turn right away, so he can't get another attack buff on him, um, unless you run him with Moonblade. But at the same time, you know, it depends on how much attack you are you have on your Arbiter Vildred. Sometimes, you know, Portia to Savior is still better. So it does it does depend um, on the situation. But now the thing is, um, C Armin is nerfed a lot, so. You know, can he be viable? Can he be viable for his revive AOE? We'll have to find out. But uh, from my 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 experience facing Arbiter Vildred, if I go with like a full Bruiser comp, even with his attack buff, um, he sometimes can't kill, and it depends on the artifact he's using. Um, so we'll we'll have to see. Uh, but a lot a lot more balance, I would have to say. Um, Crimson Armin. So this is, I would say this is the biggest nerf. This is the biggest nerf um, out of all four uh, MO heroes. Um, originally, the minimum was 20% uh, reduction in a critical hit, up to 30%. So I never owned C Armin, and I roughly knew that she's really annoying, but I never knew the actual number was 20% you get innate. Now it's been reduced to 10%. 10% with a maximum of 15%. That is, even at the maximum, maximal Lagora, you're still lower than what she was at default. So to be honest, the, the damage reduction, even though it's a different type of damage reduction because it's a critical hit one, so still stackable with other forms of damage reduction, it's, it's not going to be that good anymore. Um, she's not going to be that good. She's not going to be effective at all, pretty much. Um, and the fact that uh, her immunity now is two turn. Uh, I was saying in a previous video that, uh, you know, if I were to nerf her, I would honestly just give her two turn immunity and that's it. I would just kind of like leave her passive. I said maybe drop it like by 5%, but this is a huge like nerf. I would say though, um, based on how uh, Smilegate is approaching the, their heroes, um, don't be surprised if Crimson Armin gets buffed again, all right? Yeah, don't be surprised if she gets buffed again. Um, I would say that uh, maybe she's still viable in PVE scenarios, but I think in especially in higher end PvP, people hit so hard that a 15% you 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 place her there, um, that 15% is not gonna really help much. But that's my my opinion on it. That's my opinion. Um, but I think I think potentially she may be buffed in the future. Who knows? Who knows? Uh, and uh, Moonlight Hero Recall, I think this this is stuff that you know is important. But again, um, you can either you can when you recall them, you'll get unknown slates. Uh, these unknown slates are specific for for certain types of heroes. So like four star, five star. Um, but you can't like I think you can't like you know unknown slate like you know Vildred to get like maximum speed if you had like multiple Araminthas. I think that's not how it works. Um, the other thing is that uh, if you wanted to exchange for the actual hero, apparently you could contact customer service. But again, I think you guys can do the reading on this. So not not much opinion on this for myself in terms of what you get back in return for the recall. Um, but again, like I said, I don't think uh, I don't think too many people will be recalling ML Aramantha. I think she's still really strong. Uh, balancing hero changes. So description on uh, a lot of stuff. So Basar, uh, possibly from the reading of this, possibly S1, S2 gets improved. Euphine, probably S1, S2 gets improved as well. Uh, Lilibet, it seems that uh, S1, S2 might be improved too. Uh, Lydica, I'm not quite sure what her her reading is like. It just says like what her problem was. Uh, and Assassin Kali seems that the S1 might get some improvements. Um, you know, and I won't, I won't give too much, you know, thoughts on this until we actually see their notes. So let's just skip that. Uh, postpone for Arena Season Three skill bug fixes, fixes um, balancing quality improvements and uh, battle uh, system information. Um, so I think, I think I'm gonna move, move on. Still, uh, the memory imprint one I want to touch upon. This one is interesting to me. Um, again, nothing is set in stone, but it's just kind of sharing uh, with us like what what they're thinking of. 
Uh, so basically right now memory imprints are affecting uh, everyone except the hero containing the memory imprint So I'll use my Luna as an example because she's my only triple less Whoa, actually wait followed Kron is really close Kron's double double s 2s um, Luna is my triple less limited hero at the time I went really crazy for her pity summons pretty much for all her copies and I use one unknown slate on her she has a 14%, 14.4% critical hit chance for the rest of the party, but she can't use it herself. Now, with the changes, um, basically they're thinking of, I guess it's a toggleable setting um, in your hero itself, so that you can have, you can have uh, either uh, memory imprinting, like I guess normally. So if it's in Luna's case, full party, 14% critical hit chance rate increase. Um, or you can swap it to yourself, but you can only have one or the other Now the interesting thing is that uh, they said that something about the 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 effect on the hero itself will not be as great. So I, I you know, I think they're, they're gonna be Probably still making these changes on the fly. I don't think that everything is done right now at this point So only this is a only like a hypothetical. This is not this is not the, what they've already said is gonna happen but may maybe like if you swap it to your Luna, she gets maybe like a 7%, maybe half, let's say, like 7% critical hit chance. But then also they said to further enhance the uniqueness of each hero, some of them may enhance skill effects, not just increase stats. That's what's really interesting to me. So obviously they're, they're also, you know, giving us players some, uh, you know, hopefully it's not OP effects, it's not overpowered because uh, the reason is because uh, we're going to talk about the summon system improvements. Um, with the new summon system improvements, uh, whales will be whales, and they're gonna get uh, like triple S heroes like way easier. <clears throat> uh, free to play heroes, oh uh, sorry, free to play players rather will get uh, you know will be able to get multiple imprints also easier. So with this, you know, like enhanced skill effects, it must not be some OP thing, but just something that adds some uniqueness to it. I'm definitely interested to see what each hero has uh, in terms of their special unique abilities. If if this is going forward, if this is going forward, um, that's that's my thoughts on this. But uh, not just increase the stats. So just keep that in mind. It's really cool. Uh, so yeah, and then they, they round up saying that the ultimate goal is to find the balance so everybody has an enjoyable environment and uh, you know no no rage or whatever. So that's my thoughts on this. So on this uh, uh, system improvement and hero balance. I'm gonna move on here really quickly to the summon system improvements. Uh, I'm only gonna keep this together as uh, one video. Um, so now uh, Moonlight heroes are now obtainable through not only the regular Moonlight pull system, so that system is not gonna go away, but rather Moonlight heroes, three to five star heroes, will now be introduced to the regular Covenant summons. Also, the fact is that uh, every single banner going forward now, or after after the applied date rather, uh, will have limited limited summons. So um, as long as it's a featured banner. So whether it's a return banner or it's a new banner, uh, you're gonna get the the same pity system that we've been experiencing with the limited banners. Uh, the only thing I was saying is that uh, it would be nice to get off banner heroes from this but I think to each their own I think some people are they would prefer to have only the banner they're pulling on but then you have the other you know the generic like like a covenant pull thing you can do for off banner hero so I, I I guess I would agree with this um you'll be guaranteed it so in addition to that if you're pulling on those banners then you will never get five star mo heroes based on that reading but uh but you know maybe i don't know maybe if i'm bored one day maybe i'll just start spamming the regular banner so hopefully get a five star ml it's still a very low rate still very low rate but hey hey um you know i've had i've had worse worse rates going against me like pulling Kron on like another banner or something like that you know um so it's possible it's possible so i'm gonna be pretty happy about this um <clears throat> Right, so yeah, five percent total chance to get a moonlight hero. Uh, go down a bit. Uh, so the mileage for the gold transmit stones are still gonna be there. Um, still gonna be able to, and you still be able to purchase the four star, 
five star hero ticket or the galaxy bookmarks just like we were doing before so yes i was saying this before like like originally in one of the dev notes it almost read like they were going to remove the full galaxy bookmark system which like made me like kind of like i don't think that's necessary so this is a really good balance i think um you know adding the moonlight hero into the regular covenant summon and then also still having a separate galaxy bookmark so sometimes like you know when you're doing raid and you do get a galaxy bookmark as a boss drop you know the feelings of euphoria are definitely you know it's definitely there so it's it, if the system is there so the raid drops are still going to be there so it's a good thing it's a good thing um second change yeah the mystic summons okay so yeah the mystic summon system um now we'll have a pity summon 200 summons on a 201st summon you'll be guaranteed the featured five star ml hero uh well before this i was doing some calculation i'm like oh this is so cheap isn't this like a thousand mystic medals and i and I, my math is so bad um it's it's ten thousand so it, i was i was saying that if it was a thousand um i would clear the the whale shop the the actual like you know mystic pack shop every time there's a five star ml hero because then i'd be able to get it but it's 10,000. So apparently you can get about around 3,000, I think. 3,000 for, um, I think, yeah, 3,000 for clearing out the shop. Uh, but then it would take you about two, two and a half months or something to be able to get a guaranteed if you're not lucky to pull them off first. Anyways, uh, <laughs> uh, but the, the counter does not reset. All right, so the counter does not reset. So it's good all around. That means if you missed out, let's say ML Cecilia, even though she's not included in the system, let's say ML Ravi, you missed out ML Ravi, but you keep pulling, you keep pulling, you would be guaranteed like maybe the next, next, uh, next ML five star, or or even the 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 one after the next one. So so two two banners are over. Um, so that's kind of nice. Um, it's, that means better than nothing. I'll take it. I'll take it. No complaints from me whatsoever. Uh, Mystic Summons, aforementioned, yeah, combination of two weeks. Oh yeah, you can also get the, the previously released four star, five star ML heroes now too, um, but but only within w the one week gap apparently. So the new five star ML hero overlaps with the previous four star ML hero run for four weeks, and then the previous five star ML hero will overlap with the new four star ML hero. So from my reading, it seems to be an overlapping. Uh, overlapping thing i think i guess two uh two weeks before they overlap and then they run for one month uh subsequently i believe that's the case and then uh, regular heroes artifacts will be renewed every week just like it worked before uh 50 mystic medals now in batches will be able to be purchased in the secret shop in the lobby so originally we had like covenant bookmarks for about 184,000, 184,000 gold you get one covenant pull so assuming that is the same gold price you get one mystic pull um, possibly so maybe some people will start spamming the secret shop more now too because it's technically it's a trade of skystone versus your chance of getting a mystic pull which could be good because you're always building up to for that pity summon so you know something to think about for people who have some skystone just hanging there uh, and then keep in mind that because we have um you know pity summon for every single covenant summons um i think our usage of our sky stones uh for free to play and pay to play will be able to be more flexible i think but you know you know some people will say no man i'm always only have like 800 sky stones or whatever so you know so some people will say something like that um so there's also going to be some uh, refund for mystic metals all right mystic metals used up to august 2nd so we only have like what two two days three days from this point of this recording um to use them so if you use them they'll refund a 50 percent of the materials used not only the mystic but also the moonlights so you would want to pull them now right you want to pull them now um to get to 50 percent uh, unless you already have ml cecilia in the current uh, mystic rotation unless you already have ml cecilia i would suggest you don't not pull it anyway because you know unless you want to dupe of her i don't know i should but i know myself i'm going to be pulling all all of them as much as possible <laughs> until but they, they will be paid back in batches so once you get them you're just like hey hey i didn't spend only like you know like a thousand mystic medals i spent like you know twenty thousand mystic medals 
just keep in mind that it is paid in batches all right so um they're gonna also give us more details as uh you know as this is applied so don't don't uh you know yeah bank of getting all of them right away so you can like ham on the next banner i'm pretty sure they're all also giving you back in batches for a specific reason um anyways they said that they hope the improvements i mean that some summon system have you know are is going to be satisfactory to us and of course you're going to always be open to our opinions so again really big credit i think to uh you know the developers of epic 7 here both the hero balance and the summon system change to be honest i don't think it's like super like crazy like it wasn't it's not as watered down as people thought it would be you know people started going in panic like oh no they're gonna be so rare you're looking at a 0.15 percent to get in the regular regular summons the pity summon i would have to say yeah i was kind of like half half i would say I, I said that was a good thing especially for free to play players but i can get it get it now with the possibly like some memory imprint improvements this could be a bit overpowered but like they said collecting is one of the things people play for epic 7 and i kind of don't mind it this way um, just so like it's easier for every player to get all heroes but I know my opinion here is gonna be countered a lot of people I know people have you know told me you know Jagan I don't agree with this you know it that ruins the gotcha that ruins the the rarity you know of, of being lucky I, I can't I kind of get it I get it but uh, you know I, 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 I look at it from a different standpoint I'm I guess I'm a content creator so I want the heroes to build to review to use to experiment with um, so I'm not much of like a, a person that'd be like, oh, I'm so lucky. I'm so lucky. Everybody is luckier than me. So <laughs> it doesn't matter. And then the hero balancing, I think that I think they did a really good job uh, for the most part. I think uh, C. Armin is nerfed to oblivion, um, but uh, people can recall her. So you go trade in for like, I don't know, Ox Lots, BBK, someone you've always wanted, someone that's fun. Silver Blade Araminta, my summary again, I don't think she's nerfed to that like that badly and then sage ball and on and uh, arbiter village we'll we'll see him less on defense now that's for sure and it's like gonna end this session of rbtl here so if you guys have discord check out the discord server follow me on twitter and subscribe to youtube if you haven't as always leave your comments in the comment section below for the youtube video let me know what you guys think and you know i'll be sure to you know provide feedback and just talk to you guys all right as a as always i'll uh, see you guys next time